Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back, welcome back to the Northwest Flower and Garden Festival. I am having the best time here. It is so much fun. Uh, yesterday was day one, this is day two, and yesterday was a whirlwind. It was so much fun. I was so tired by the end of the day, but it was such a good day. So I have the best video for you all today. I'm so excited about it. I met someone very, very special. Her name is Kate. She is a extremely well-known landscape designer in the area. I have found, so I'm in Seattle, and I have found that there is this whole com gardening community up here that is absolutely incredible. And Kate is like a powerhouse in that community. Everybody knows her, everybody loves her. She's so fantastic, and we are so lucky because she is starting a YouTube channel to share her, her knowledge and her inspiration because she is the type of person that when she talks about gardening, you stop and you just listen to her. She is so, so very inspiring. So I, she actually has a display in the Northwest Flower and Garden Festival and she is taking us around today. And I say us because I have someone special with me that you all know, Jack Barnwell, <laughs> my new best friend, right? Yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> Kate is getting Jack and I in early before the show starts, so there shouldn't be a lot of people milling around. There was a ton of people there yesterday, right? Yeah. There was a ton of people. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get in, we'll get some good footage, and Kate is going to take us around and tell us about all the beautiful displays that are at, at this, this garden show. It's just, it's really magical. It's impressive. Right? I'm totally impressed. I've been I'm, to a lot of these shows, yeah. and this one's really good. Yeah. Yeah, I was totally impressed. Yeah. So cool. anyway, I'm so excited for you to see this video today. Let's go find Kate. Hi, everyone. I am so excited to introduce you to Kate David of Hello Garden Land. Hello Garden Design. Yes. Hello Garden Design. Yes. If you all don't know Kate, allow me to introduce you to a <laughs> wonderful, inspiring gardener. And like I was saying to you outside, when she talks, you stop and you listen. Thank so, you. This, Thank you. This is your this is yours, yeah, right? Yeah, this is my happy place. How was it how was it setting all this up? So last year was my first year displaying. Okay. And I I cried on day three and a half. <laughs> I was exhausted. Yeah. Um, you know, you don't know what you don't know when you're doing one of these things. Right. It's just like so overwhelming. But this year I feel like I planned really well. Mm -hmm. I knew exactly what I was getting into. Mm -hmm. I knew the order in which I was going to bring things in. Yeah. I knew the hurdles I was going to have to tackle. Um, there's so many moving pieces with forklifts, front loaders. I mean, can you, these Bob, are yeah. huge trees here that they've brought into the building. Yeah. How was it setting up? Like, what is that process? It is, it's like, it's like watching a symphony mm -hmm. and a, a really finely tuned orchestra. Oh and behind us, we actually had the forklift station. Um, this really amazing guy, Brian, has run it for years and years. Yeah. And you just go over there like, I need this, I need this, I need this. On my Instagram, I posted all of the, um, they named all of the bob, all the front loaders. Different. Beyonce. Beyonce, I saw Rihanna, <laughs> Doja Cat. Like it was like, so, really, it was so cute. We need Beyonce I know, here. Beyonce, coming in, bringing I'll Rihanna. I'll show you all a picture. Yeah, was, it's super cute. I was cute. stalking her Instagram last night. It's just, it's super fun. So yeah. like I, you kind of have this cadence, right? Uh -huh. And so they actually load everyone in from the back forward. Okay. So there were two gardens in the back that got loaded in first. We got loaded in second. And so every hour you have another two gardens loading in. Oh my goodness. I and can't... from there, it's just chaos. So literally we drive onto the floor, we back in. I had like, <laughs> oh my God, it was a 16 foot U-Haul full of like <laughs> the hot tub and the plants and trees. Oh and, and then I also had really amazing nursery partners that would ship in material. So they would come in their giant um, they're giant trucks with all of these with trees. With all the beautiful flowers yeah. and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. When did you start designing this? So the inspiration for this garden came last year. Did it? It came at the show last year. So tell us, yeah. t this this is the most interesting garden. It, tell us about forest bathing. Okay, so forest bathing is this whole concept of um, how I come back to center. And forest bathing is actually a Japanese practice that is used as a healing modality. So 
it's not just, hey, I'm going through this illness, but it's also you can go to these various forests and you can be prescribed a walk through the forest. Oh my goodness. And there's so much scientific evidence that shows how much nature aids healing. It, Even yeah. the view out of a hospital window will impact the speed at which a patient recovers. Wow. And so for incredible. me, being out in green space is vital. And one of my favorite places to do that is uh, on the islands of the Pacific Northwest. So oh, yep. Bainbridge, yep. Whidbey, San Juans, like they are just dripping in moss. Gorgeous. Evergreens, ferns, they just They have a yummy. special feel when you get yeah. to, if, if any of you have been to, I've only been to Bainbridge, but when yeah. you get there, it feels like a magical place. Yeah, you do, like they call it island time. because Oh, you, is it? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, you take a deep breath and it's just time kind of slows. Yeah. And you get to just kind of chill a little bit more. Yeah, I love Nothing it. is like too hurried. It's like it'll happen when it happens yes. kind of a situation. Yes. Um, and then also, I, I swear it smells different. I agree. Doesn't, don't you think so? So I know you all, well, you can't smell, of course, yeah. but one of the things uh, you know, about Kate's display here is the smell. It mm -hmm. smells, I told her, it smells like we're in a spa right now. And was that on purpose? 100%. Okay. Yeah, 100%. See, I, I used incense cedars and spruce and pine, and the ones that I chose kick off a really beautiful scent. Wow. The incense cedars specifically behind me are ones that are just incredibly fragrant and lovely. And so, it smells so good. And it's also self-serving because when you're here for a week. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's yeah. 60,000 people, and it's all of my, it's like, I, I don't know if I told you yesterday, but this is, I tell my boys, this is my Super Bowl. And it's, and I get to come I and I get to play with all my friends. I love it, yes. It's, and we're all, and we've spent so many hours and days in the trenches with one another, yeah. building these creations right. for the public to enjoy. Yeah. Um, there, it's just a special bond. But after a week, you're tired. You're done. You're tired, you're, <laughs> you're tired. tired. You can, yeah. only, you can yeah. only do the Super Bowl for so long. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> so, so what I was saying to everybody before I came inside is that, the Pacific Northwest seems to have its own little gardening community, Absolutely. landscaping, design, all that kind of stuff. And you are quite the force in that community, right? Thank you. You are. Everybody Thank knows you. her. Everybody's Thank like, you. oh, yeah, let me talk to Kate, you know? So it's yeah. really fun. I And I think it's honestly because I love my community so yeah. much. Yeah. And for me, when I'm out at the commercial nurseries and we've got the hustle and the bustle, I want, yes, we are all stinky and covered in dirt, but I'm going to come over and I'm going to give you a hug. Good. I love Do it. Do you know what I mean? Totally. Like, to me, like, connection is everything. Yeah. And so if I can have that moment, yeah. even if it's just two seconds, I, I make that time because my people are important to me. My people. I love my people. <laughs> so you have been kind of, um, like I said, a force in the Pacific yeah. Northwest, but... You're gracing us with your presence for the I rest know. of the, the United States and really the world. Yeah. So, so you've decided you're starting a YouTube channel. Yes. Okay. Yes. And that, what is it called? Hello Garden? It's Hello Garden. So it's the same as my, my company. Okay. And I started very slowly, maybe about a year ago, just yeah. throwing a couple of videos up. And it was one of those things where one of my first videos was how to plant strawberries. And I just did it because I'm out in my own garden. I'm planting strawberries. Yep. It's the time to do it. Yeah. And you want to share and you I want to share. share with everybody. That's I want to share. That's how I, wanna, I got started. I want to share. I want to share. I'm like, this is what I'm doing. Yes. And it was so weird. I, I posted it and I was like, ah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to check on it. And then like two months later, I went back and I looked and it was amassing thousands of views. And I was like, I just planted strawberries. No, but you're passionate. And that's yeah. that's the secret sauce, I think. People want to watch passion, yeah. which is why I'm so happy to have met you because you are my people. You know what I, I mean? Know, I you know, I know, I people. know. So check out her, check out her uh, uh, Instagram and your YouTube as yeah. well. And then we are all trying to talk her into writing a book because... Oh my goodness! Wouldn't that be amazing? It's been it's been a crazy journey. What's so funny is I did my seminar on Wednesday, yeah. and immediately after, people were like, "Oh, where do we buy your book?" Yeah. and I was like, "I I haven't written a book." Wait, talk about yet. your seminar. Yes. Talk about your <laughs> seminar. So here at the at the festival, they do seminars. Yeah, absolutely, pretty absolutely. Pretty much back to back, right? Like all day, every day of the festival. And what's so amazing is that we have people flying in from all over the world to give seminars. And I was lucky enough to speak on opening day Wednesday. And I talked about the dynamic garden mm -hmm. and how really, if you plan this well, you can develop 12 months of visual interest. 
And I also talked about, it's not just 12 months of visual interest, but it's also talking about how do we look at our seasons differently? Mm -hmm. How do we look about the beautiful, how do we look at the beautiful things that we bring into our garden mm -hmm. and actually where we position them, how they play together. Yes. Because just as much as people need friends, yeah. plants need friends. Oh my gosh, I love it. And they need to look like they're having a conversation. Did you record this? I did. Is I it did. on? Are you putting it on YouTube? It's being okay. uploaded to YouTube. So you all, you all get to come to my seminar. You I'll link it down below because I, because yeah. I didn't, I didn't get in until later, so I missed it. But how fun! It was super fun, and uh, the hood room holds 400 people. Yes, this is what I wanted you to say. And it was so fun. 400 people, standing room only standing at the back, room only. and I was like, yes. Yes. I, it just felt like this moment where I love people so much, yeah. and I want to connect with people so much. Yeah. And this is just a beautiful way that I get to do what I enjoy yeah. on a bigger stage. Yeah, so yeah. fun. All right, so before we run out of time, because the festival's about to start, we're here yes. before even the doors have opened. Yes. And Kate knows there's about, how many displays, 12? Uh, 20. 20 displays? Yeah. So Kate basically knows everybody who has put <laughs> up these displays and knows all the backgrounds to all yeah. of them. So she was yeah. walking me around yesterday and saying, Oh, da, 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 about that. Da, da, and da, yeah, da, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I and I begged her and I said, "Can I film you for a video yeah. and you can tell us all this stuff?" Absolutely. And I said, mean, yes. yes, absolutely. Because I want to brag about my friends because yes. they're all so good. Yes. They're all so good. Okay, let me grab the camera and then let's follow you around. We okay. have to start with yours though, because you. it's beautiful. Thank you. All right, ma'am. We've got Jack in the background. Just ignore him. <laughs> so, your am I saying the right thing? Display. Yeah, these are all referred to as the display gardens, okay. and this is really like the cornerstone of the Northwest Flower and Garden Show. It's so beautiful. It's incredible. I love this. I look forward to it every year. This is, I am attending my 22nd show. Oh my God. My 22nd garden show. I've been coming since my very like early 26. 20s. <laughs> yeah, it's 22. Oh. It's 22 of my first show. Um, and welcome to my garden. So and beautiful. like I said, the whole kind of energy behind it is. I joke that this is my introvert side. I'm a super extrovert, but I also need to slow down. So for me, it was actually super purposeful. I landscaped in all the way around, blocking yeah. the, the convention center yes, with it's these like trees. Yes, it's Yeah. It's a room. I wanted people to come in and just be able to forget, maybe squint their eyes for a second and be like, I'm not at the convention center. So come on in, come okay. on in. And the name of the title of this is? This is Forest Bathing. Okay. And I wanted you to be greeted with these incredible amelanc ears. This is a tree called Service Berry. And these are just about ready to pop open. And it will pop in this just yummy, frothy, white floral mm. moment. And then I have it anchored with a lot of evergreens. I like to layer in my plantings because I think it makes it far more dynamic. So, and then I've also uplit them because I want to showcase to people a multi-trunk for me. This is sculptural. Yes. This, this allows it to be a 12 month stunner in the garden because of course you've got the floral moment, you've got incredible fall foliage, but then you uplight this and now you have sculpture in the you middle of winter. winter. Oh right? my goodness. And it's... so then as you come in, you'll kind of notice little touches that I do. I love mixed metal, so I'm using these amazing fixtures by FX. Um, and they're a copper with a little bit of brass fitting on them. They are officially on my wish list now. Are, they're so I need them. good. I need they're them. so good. And then this is a wood burning hot tub by Goodland. These folks are incredible. They're based out of Canada. Craig and Courtney came down yesterday. They're going to be here all day today. And it just matches the energy of this garden. In my gardens, it's all about matching the energy. So Goodland, their whole ethos is like, let's go slow. Let's take a beat. Let's, let's, quit the hurry scurry. So you're actually gonna load this firebox here. You're gonna make your fire and then it comes with a paddle and you stir and you incorporate oh that. Gosh. So the water actually will go all the way around the firebox and out the right side. And it's absolutely incredible. And they even, they're so sweet, they actually gave me this hose and this brass nozzle. Look at this thing. It is, it's it art. is stunning. It's it, art. It is absolutely art. Isn't that the most beautiful hose? It is, and it has like poetry and quotes written on it. It's like everything they do, it blows my mind. On the host? On the host. Oh On the host. Oh my gosh. So you can see it's just A super... term for sunbeams filtering through, through the, the trees. trees. <gasps> I know. Oh I, my know. God. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. so incredible. I know. It's stunning. And so like for me, it's like the little touches. Yes. Uh, and then as we come further in, I actually, we, I want this to be a very sensory experience. So these are actually cedar shavings from the tub being constructed. Oh my goodness. And so you can, I, 
everyone who visits can pick them up. They can smell them and just get even further immersed into that experience. And then as we come in a little bit further, I wanted this to feel very native. So I actually brought in a lot of these stumps from my little brother's property on Bainbridge Island. Oh my goodness. Because I literally wanted to bring the island here. Yeah. So, and my sweet partner, he actually used a chainsaw and carved these out. How sweet. He's, so, he's incredible. So this is really a... This is a family effort, for a, sure. A big, big family effort, a yeah. collective effort. All three of my boys were here last night, oh, and, um, and, and it's so fun. Like, I have two teenagers and then a nine-year-old, and when they say, like, Mom, this is, this is really cool, Makes it's like, proud. I kind of well up with tears because I know for a teenager, that's, like, it's high Hard price. to admit. Hard That's high praise. That's my, their mom is actually cool. Yes. Um, and then this is my tea garden. And like I said, this is part of like my introvert side. So I love to grow a lot of my own tea, a lot of my own medicinals. Um, um, I, I grow holy basil. Not to interrupt, but oh, yeah. we need a video on growing your own tea. Yeah. How to grow your own tea. We do. On Hello Garden. <laughs> we do. We do. So welcome to my tea garden. Aww. And I want this sensory experience to continue. So I've used three different types of scented geranium. We've got the lemon ball. This is actually a tiny lingonberry. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, I need to show you. I have my first, I have my first lingonberry. Oh my God. It's right there. Oh, cute. Is that so cute? I'm like, oh my God, I made it. I made it to the show. Take a picture of that and put it on Instagram I know, for sure. Right? <laughs> and I, I just kind of wanted to show someone what is possible in a garden, and maybe you're not growing this commercially, but it's the act of slowing down. You're going to grow something for your own consumption. Right. You're not just gonna rush out to the store. So for me, it's just, again, building layers of slowing it's throughout the garden. It's gorgeous. And then to kind of create this little moment here, I've brought in, of course, stumps uh, from Bainbridge Island. Oh and then it is backed, these camellias back here, this is actually Camellia sinensis. Mm. And this is what they make tea out of. This is the tea plant. Yeah, this is. Look at yeah. you. Oh I know, so goodness. it's just, and it was so funny. I was at my nursery, at my commercial nursery, and I was looking at the camellias because winter blooming camellias are some of my favorite. Yes. I love to include them in every garden. And um, I was out there and the guys were like, yeah, we have this really weird one. Have you seen this before? And I went in there and I was like, it's Camellia sinensis. This is like, it's, it's like my, this is it, the one. It's meant to be. Yes. It was, it was my meant to be moment. And I was like, yep, this is it. We're done. Oh, We're my done. Goodness. And then, of course, just filling in with a lot of my favorites. Iris reticulata. I feel like this is so underutilized. It is such a yummy little baby plant. It's so pretty. Um, I mean, it's just so, so sweet. So easy to grow, too. Yeah. And this one is the more purple variety. There's another one, Harmony, that's more blue. Um, and there's another one that, the name is escaping me right now, but mm -hmm. it's very, like, ghosty and soft and... <sighs> Very, very good. On my list. On Absolutely the list. Absolutely on and my list. And then, of course, like, I can't have spring without a witch hazel. Um, so this is Hamamelis gelina. And this is just a little baby one. Um, so cute. But I feel like she might come home and live in my garden. I, yeah. I feel, yeah. Can you I, just take this whole garden and transfer I, it to California? Yeah. I don't think it'll last in California. But we could try. We it's could try. so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Well, should we do a quick little spin? Yes. Before the garden opens? Yes, absolutely. So Kate has all mm. the inside scoop on all I of these. Do. So I'm so excited to hear what she has to say. I do. So this is a, a sweet friend of mine. This is Jen Zabo. Um, she was the lead designer over at Mulbax for years and years and years. And Jen is an incredible uh, landscaper. Uh, she's taught architecture. Uh, she does have a background in healing spaces. Oh. And Mulbax was a grand staple in our industry for, I mean, decades. Really? And when it closed just earlier in the year, um, it really shuttered our industry. Wow. And so Jen, her crew approached her and was like, will you go out on your own? And she's like, are you coming with me? Mm. And every single person, except for one, left. And we're talking three crews. Wow. So if that doesn't speak to that her says heart something. Yeah. and the work that she performs, I, I don't know what else does. And this is really, this beautiful modern house structure is really about home and how we, how we interact in these different spaces in our home. Right. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's really, it's really, really stunning. And so she's got some introvert sides. She's got water flowing throughout. I mean, it is really. It's it, definitely a more modern take on it, but you can still see 
how calming it is, I you know, know and it's, how peaceful it is. It's super sweet. It's really pretty. Over here behind us, this is John from Homegrown Organics. Okay, John is, John is wonderful. He actually lives on Vashon. And John's first garden was last year, and he did a city living garden, one of the smaller gardens. Oh, yes. And I remember seeing him when he was building it and all this, and he was, like, looking at my garden, like, I don't know if I can do this. And I feel like sometimes you just need one person to champion you, to give you the bravery, to be like, okay, I, can, I got this. You got this, yeah. And this is what he did. This is I incredible. Mean, I walked through this yesterday, yeah. and it was, I mean, jaw-dropping. Yeah, and he actually designed this bowl. <sighs> And he was like, I don't know if anybody's going to want to buy it. And I said, you were going to have to fight people. Seriously, yeah. I want to buy it yeah. if I could take it back. <laughs> I, and I love it. And, and one thing that he's done that I think is really exceptional and special about this garden is this is a true plants person's garden. Yes. Right? So yes. This is, this is for the gardener who loves their plants. They love something specific. They want to look for something really interesting. Specialty it, plants. Specialty. Yeah. And I like the fact that not all of his foliage is perfect. Right. Because that is so reflective of actually how we live. Yes. Do you know what I mean? I'm just tired of like everything being overly styled and overly perfect. Give me some brown tufts. Yes. Right. I, I, agree. I just think it's so much better. Let it get wild. You know, I didn't even notice that when yeah. I was here, but you're it's right. subtle. It really does it's subtle. add like a natural element to well, it. Well, this is even what they're doing with artificial turf is they're adding little brown pieces. You know, it's, it's, it's hilarious. It's so, it's so funny, but it's so necessary. You it know, is. I can see what, I can see the purpose of it. Yeah. It's so funny. I didn't even notice that yesterday. It just, these it just are like blended the, These in. are like the, just the little things that, yes. the little touches that all of these designers do that I think is so fantastic. Like the scent in yours. Yeah. You did a good job yeah. with that. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you. Um, this is GMC Landscapes. They did a smaller garden last year that had a putting green on it. <gasps> oh my. And it was super cute and little, but then they pulled out this business this year. Look at and these I trees. was like, good grief. <laughs> so the owner was here yesterday. I swear it was like bring your kid day. Yeah. And he was here and I think his son, gosh, his youngest is maybe two or three. And he was standing up on this rock Aww. and it was time to go. And he was like having a meltdown. It was, Aww, it was so cute. It was so cute. He loves it. He loves oh, it. Oh, this is incredible. This is Pacific Northwest to me. Yeah, this is super classic. Yeah. Super, super classic Northwest. Gorgeous. And again, incredible trees, incredible structure, the sound of the water. It's just gorgeous. Can't be beat. Coming over to this one. Okay, so this is, this is Devonshire Landscapes. And what I really love about Devonshire is these people are based in West Seattle. Mm -hmm. And that is almost the entire place that they work. Oh. They love their people so much. They're they like, stay. we're West Seattle for life. It's awesome. It is awesome. And they always do a stunning display. Um, I don't believe they were here last year. West Seattle Nursery was. Um, but they have displayed many times before. And this entire structure in the middle, it was so cool. They brought it in in panels. So they constructed each panel off-site and then brought it in and assembled it and they had the roof going and then I was like busy working and I looked over and I was like oh my god they added moss <laughs> and did then did you see the, the water droplets over there I didn't even see this portion of it oh. until literally the the show the night before we do an award ceremony yeah and we have like this the droplets detail. of the water is that, that so gorgeous that is the thing that took me like <gasps> Because I love that it's just, it's not this big overt waterfall no. moment. It's just this little soft trickle. And it has that sound. It does, it and does. It's just... This is the sound that you fall asleep to, yes. right? It's so, so good. Oh, it's gorgeous. So tell me about these ducks, these <laughs> rubber ducks that I'm seeing everywhere. <laughs> the, okay, the rubber ducks are, okay, I'm gonna say this, it's on YouTube. This is Lloyd. Okay. This is Lloyd being silly. <laughs> okay. So I, so some of them are Lloyd. Some of them are not Lloyd. He's not fessing up to who's who's uh, dropping all of them. But every year at the show, they there's just a little like energy of just playfulness and pranking. And yeah. um, if we walk around, I actually see one behind me. Dude. <laughs> I see another. Oh my goodness. Last year I had dinosaurs on my display. Oh my and goodness. <laughs> someone's come through with tiny, um, tiny trolls. Isn't it so cute? Kate, was this you? It was, I swear it was, it was not me. I didn't do it. 
Although I kind of wish that I did. I know, right? It's it so is funny. pretty fun. It's really cute. Okay, this one behind me is so special. Oh. It is so special. It is so special. It's so incredible. It's so incredible. This is a 12 foot tall stump that has been reclaimed. They brought it in on just a giant truck. It took them a day and a half to assemble and brace this <laughs> stump. What's incredible is this is actually going to go to live on at, at the Point Defiant Zoo is what I heard. Oh my goodness. So that's the cool thing is that this piece of magic gets to have a whole other life. Yes. And this is the most magical fairy garden. Wait, Ma I have to show this, yes. this um, yes. door to my kids, my daughters. My nieces are coming tomorrow and they are going to lose it when they see this. I mean, like my I, I I cannot tell you. And the thing that I've really loved also is they've they have planted in these huge swaths. There's so much detail that when you get really detailed, I find that you need larger moments to yeah. help help make sense of the of of the all the detail, things. the little yeah. things. And what's really cute is they've added mushrooms to form a little faux fairy ring. Because oh. sometimes you'll see these rings of mushrooms in the yes. forest. And it's called a fairy ring. It's called a fairy ring. I love yeah. it. And these, these folks, rightfully so, Nature Perfect has won the Founders Cup Best Good in Show. I, I'm like, you know, that's the thing is I'm so proud of them and it's so well deserved. Yeah. It's so well deserved. Yeah. And as you kind of come up this water yeah. feature, you're going to see an entire village of fairy houses. Oh my goodness. Girls, girls, look at this. It's so, it's just the most beautiful. Wow. This is incredible. It's, and it's so fun that you got to watch it come know. from the beginning all the way up. I, I feel, I feel insanely fortunate. That I feel insanely incredible. fortunate. Um, I am going to show you this one behind. Okay. So this one is Winter Green Landscapes, and they have really taken this beautiful modern. I love that they set this at an angle. They weren't so kind of obvious about just presenting forward. Right. And so you get a lot of like interesting depth coming through. And then they've actually used one of my favorite light fixtures up here. It just adds, oh. I love a light fixture in the garden because it adds so much sparkle and so much personality. You're talking about this copper one? I know, aren't they so beautiful? This is another FX light. And it just gives off this sprinkly stardust moment. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Incredible. And also I love that we're getting him watering because I think what people don't see is we will be in here early in the morning pruning, watering, taking care of all these gardens. Um, sometimes I don't walk out of here until, well, two nights ago I went home, fed my kids, came back, <gasps> watered, pruned, wow. and then tucked myself in bed. So when I say that these are a labor of love that we do for the community, yeah. this is, there's, there's no, <laughs> you have to have a beautiful reason to do something like this because it's totally insane. You and have to be passionate. You have yeah. to be passionate. Yeah. You have to be passionate. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple more. Okay. This one and the color. Okay, so this is the Northwest Flower Growers Association. And the color here, they just blow it out of the park every year. They always do this beautiful entry display moment. They've showcased some stunning art. This is done by Bent Productions. And I love that they use this just fiery red just to greet everyone as they're coming yes. in the main doors. It's so, it's just incredible. It, it's just a riot, a literal riot of color. It stops everyone in their tracks. Yeah, it does. So th these are it the does. front doors right here. And, and they, they come always, in, mm -hmm. and it's this. It's this. And they use lots of, um, just a lot of scented hyacinth because they want, as soon as you walk through those doors, it's like, boom, Yeah. spring is here. And it is, it yeah. absolutely is. It's a total celebration. Oh, this is incredible. So behind me is some of my friends. Yes. This is the Washington Association of Landscape Professionals. Um, a dear friend of mine, Susan, helped design this garden as well. And this is just lovely at, you know, the Washington Association of Landscape Professionals, it, it just is what it is. They create these beautiful moments, these beautiful stories. Obviously, we're having like a game pick, night, yeah, game night yeah. which I love. I love the faux fireplace. And again, big, big, huge drifts, gorgeous containers over here. This pergola, a detail that I don't think everyone notices is they have set lighting Oh, into right. the pergola so it's really subtle it's really modern it's you just a lovely great idea yeah i i love this i love this and i also think it really highlights the structure 
More so than if you were to dangle a chandelier. Yep. It, it gives you some really beautiful clean lines that, that carry. Beautiful. And not that hard to do, I don't think. I know. Right? I almost wish that we didn't have this carpet here because you get the lines of the pergola here yeah. and you could see the lines of yes. the patio and they've offset the edges too. So you get this really cool modern play where the garden's coming in a little bit into the patio, the patio's coming a little bit into the garden and I just, I love those little itty bitty details. So do these, like say, what happens to these structures after? Do they get sold? So sometimes they get sold. Uh, I did a pergola last year and I put it in my front yard. I did. I, I, I put my dining pergola literally in my front yard. Garden tour. Garden tour. Garden, Garden tour, tour time. <laughs> um, and it's just, it's so fun. So I don't know what happens to every single one of these structures. Yeah. I only know a few of them. Yeah. Okay, this next one, this is Tony. Tony is absolutely incredible. This was my neighbor last year. And here's the thing, and I, I want to showcase this garden because... I want to highlight how resourceful and resilient all of our people are. In the center here, we can move this way. In the center, Tony was initially building a moon garden. And so for the first day and a half of the show, he had this form and shape. A moon garden is basically one of those like round garden gates oh, yes. where they take stone all the way over the top. He and his crew spent a day and a half working tirelessly on this. Oh, I can see the start of it. Yeah, at yeah. about one o'clock on Sunday, it started to shake. No. And then you could hear an earth shattering no. stone. They had the entire thing completed and it collapsed. No. And everyone on this garden floor, you could hear a pin drop because we know, we know what 12 hour days look like. And, um, what I love about Tony is I was actually talking to uh, Susan who did the garden behind us and I was like, gosh, what's he going to do? Yeah. This is devastating. And she looks at me, she goes, Kate, it's Tony. <laughs> Tony is one of the show veterans and the most wonderful humans. And I ended up talking to him later that day and he's like, yeah, you know, I mean, these things happen. And I just was thinking about it. And I'm like, well, this could also be really cool ruins. So we're just going to go with that. And I was like, Tony, just, yeah, you're a master. Yeah. Just. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know where, like, I just, I love that. Like, w the show goes on. Well, it's good, because yeah. this is your second year, this right? This is my second year. So yeah. it's good, as somebody who's kind of taking over the realm of the show, it's, it's probably good to see this, to see. It is really good. Things happen, and you'll get through it, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. But this is really beautiful. Had you not told me that, I wouldn't have known at all. That I that know, because it's all craggy and yummy and has all the ferns and all like the moss. Yeah. And yeah. oh my goodness, this fountain. The water feature, the stones going all the way through this. You know, they did a similar stone path like this at the Amazon spheres that you can actually walk through, and it's so fun. It's gorgeous. It's so fun. Oh, it's beautiful. So this is Adam, and Adam Gorski, he has been a landscaper for ages and ages and ages. And again, a man that nothing phases him. He had this built in two days. <laughs> he is putting me to shame. <laughs> I, I just, I can't even handle it. And here's a, a couple of things that I really admire about this garden. And I almost wish it, he had, this is my only thing that I was like, Adam, I wish you did this a little bit differently. Do you see the dried miscanthus back here? Yep. I want to see more of this. Yes. I want to see more of this because this is beautiful winter interest. <gasps> I would have loved to see this in the foreground. Yes. Right? But he packs plants in in such a dynamic, stunning way. I mean, you just look at these combinations and you drool. It looks like a painting. It does. Yeah. It does. It I know it's not coming, over on, coming across on video as beautiful as it is, and I wish it was, but it looks like a painting, like oh. a... Like a Monet or you know yeah, what I mean? I mean it's almost like a paint by number. Yes. And the relief and he always does something a little bit fun and his lighting he's done is pink and it just it highlights the entire yeah. line. I mean I don't know that you would put pink lighting yeah. in your home. Right. But this is a show. Yeah. You know, and we want to give the people something interesting. And to look at. it makes us pay attention to the lighting. Absolutely. You know, and Absolutely. notice the lighting. And for me, I'm always like, you know, here in the northwest we see a lot of pines. They can feel common. Uh-huh. But this just like all you need is one interesting combination, yeah. one interesting placement, one interesting little moment of lighting, yeah. and you have something. You elevate the everyday to this different status, and and that's also one of the things I really appreciate about. Even though I wouldn't put pink lighting in, yeah, it does the job of creating attention mm -hmm. focused on the beauty of something that is native and evergreen right. and lovely. So I just 
And right. I'll say, as someone who is not native to here, I come here and I see pines like that oh. and I'm drooling. Isn't that always the way? Drooling, you know? So yeah. what's normal for you, it like it's stunning for I me. I went to the Phoenix Botanical Garden and it was the same thing. I yeah. was just drooling over all these plants that I never get to play with. Right, right. So behind me is the Northwest Orchid Society and they do these just stunning, rocky, beautiful displays every year. I mean, we just look at this whole arch coming out here and they have it dripping in orchids and begonias. I mean, the detail, and this is all volunteers. Oh my god. You know, goodness. and there was a woman standing here who was literally attaching all of this just crunchy leaves and moss. She just spent an entire day in a chair just doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh my goodness. It's really it's very incredible work. That's one you you're right for pointing out kind of the brown, woody, yeah. like dried elements of this. Yeah. It we're so cool. It's way more, it's way more real. And it's it, way more real and I think it's I think what we're doing is, you know, we never want to push an agenda, but we do want to suggest that maybe we look at things a little bit differently. Yes. Don't you think? Maybe yeah. you don't immediately run and cut back all of your grasses in your garden because perfect they're is. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, perfect is imperfect. Yeah. And also I think that there's something really beautiful about sitting there and saying, Hey, this is a life cycle and sometimes things are not always perfect and blooming and lovely, but there's a purpose to it. Mm -hmm. There's a going inward that happens when a grass goes dormant. And I feel like sometimes we need to, to do that to, to be okay, you know, to appreciate need... it. Absolutely. Oh my God, Absolutely. don't you all love her so much? Like, you're giving me chills, Kate. You're giving me, a, yeah, Jack hey, loves Did you her. guys all know that we have never met before, but I, yeah. when we first met a minute ago, I was like, I know you. I know, and I looked at him and I was like, like, I feel like I know you. Your kindred yeah. spirit. Both really, of really, you two are really, like really the really same, same and people. And all morning I've been walking around and I hear her in the background because yes. I've been doing other things. Mm. And I can hear you talking and it's like, I, it's like I've known you for a long time. It's really this strange feeling. I know, it's, it's really. Once in a while with yeah. somebody, you know? It's well, when you hear Jack talk about gardens, it's kind of the same as hearing yeah. you talk about gardens. You, yeah, uh, like a real it's, deep, it, Like I have passion. chills. I'm not yeah. even kidding. I have chills. I love listening to you people talk about this kind of stuff. I, so. am, I am a nature fangirl all day, every day. Yeah. And you I, see it differently than a lot of people. I do. Same with Jack. Both of you two see it differently. I mean, we, probably, we touch a lot of plants. All day, every day. <laughs> I mean, I yes. touch like thousands. Sometimes lovingly and sometimes, and sometimes aggressively. <laughs> okay, this is this is Method Hardscapes. Okay, Method Hardscapes. I, I know. That's I, a big tree. Okay, so this is where I have like my little my little moment where I, I had that self doubt creep in. I was thinking like, oh, I'm gonna bring in these trees and they're gonna be 14 feet tall and da 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 da. And I'm like, yes, I'm gonna get a forest. And I had all my trees in, and these guys loaded in almost last. <laughs> almost last. And I turned around, and I was like, oh, so that's the game we're playing this year. Yep, yep, taking yeah. it up a couple yeah, of I was, <laughs> Yes, I was told I could, go, I could get up to 22 feet in here, and um, I, think, I think Method is really doing it. 21 and a bit more. 21 and a bit. 21 you guys, and a this bit. is Michael. Hi. Yeah. Th this is yours? Yes, it is. It's yeah. gorgeous. It is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Okay, and we have, we have insider scoop. We get to go in the garden. We have permission to walk in. <laughs> I always want to ask permission because we spend so much time and energy in these gardens, and we want to make sure this, this really is a big show, so we want to make sure things are safe to walk on. Yes all of that. It's super, super important yeah. that we respect what the designers are doing and their intentionality. Absolutely, yeah. 100%. Okay, this so is, this is called Plunge Into Spring. And this is one of my favorite lighting choices. We have these beautiful ledge lights. These are amazing for washing down a face. It's great for steps. It's, it's so really beautiful. subtle. I know. Oh, heaven. heaven. This pool is stunning. And the fact that he's floated this layer of papers across the top it gives such added depth and dimension oh and just gosh. absolutely stunning. It is incredible. Wow. You know, the other thing that um, Michael does is he utilizes juniper wood. Hmm. And typically here in our region, we see a lot of cedar, but he's shifting a lot of installations to juniper. Interesting. And it is incredibly, incredibly hard wearing wood. Where um, is the yeah, so deck. right across here. So I'll go up there and show you. 
And I was actually talking to him during the award ceremony about the shift, but we can see the juniper all coming through here. Wow. And it's just absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. Yeah. And it's these juniper, they actually come out super gnarled. 10 minutes. Um, they come out super gnarled, and so you can't get a lot of length out of these, but yeah. the wood is insane quality and lasts forever. Wow. Yeah. It's so beautiful. And you can tell the pride that all of yeah. you have in your installations. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. like him. It just, let it's me show so you. Fun. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me tell you. Do you let have me, questions? Yes. All of us are like this. I love it. So like this so is much. why like these are my people. Yes. I'm. By the way, I'm coming to this event every year from now on. So it's so fun. Save, save a dinner date for me, okay? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so this is actually the back of the APLD. So this is the Association of Professional Landscape Designers. Wow. And so these are also my people. This is actually really inspired by how we live our life as creatives. It's like eat, sleep, create. Yes. And so it's kind of fun that you get to see the back view and then coming around. And they won best color. Oh, wow. Best use of color, yeah. And they what? partnered with McAuliffe's Nursery. And okay. so McAuliffe's was really generous and, and brought in everybody. Made the difference, it right? Makes, oh, For them to it, win best huge, color. Huge, huge, huge. Can you tell me what these tree, these lollipop trees are? Oh, these little guys, they're little laurels. They're so beautiful. I know, they're so they, fun. They're just like, they're just little sweet they're little. Cute little things. I know. Oh, I love it. Yeah. So okay. this is actually like you would never see them like this. Okay. So it's a Prunus lusitanica, if if that means anything. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So like normally I would use this as a hedge. <laughs> so it's like wild that it's a lollipop. It's so, so cute. So you are gonna you are gonna spend some time and some effort right. maintaining this shape. Right. But also I love again, we've got another bent production sculpture in the middle on this beautiful, beautiful outdoor space and just giant swaths of yellow. It's amazing. So this is Relish Gardens. Um, Claire showcased last year and actually she didn't even showcase. It was Little Prince came and they were going to do this small little booth and at the very last minute he was like, oh I think I need someone to help me with this. And so Lloyd, the, the show garden director, he said, oh I've got someone for you. The rubber ducky guy. The rubber ducky guy. Yeah. And he said, okay, I'm gonna give you Claire Hanna. She's finishing up her program um, in horticulture. She's really wonderful. Just, you know, see, see what happens. And the two of them hit it off and created a stunning masterpiece last year. It was so good that Little Prince, uh, Mark Ligeti, who's amazing, he was like, can we do this again? So Little Prince is a plant company. Yes, Little Prince is out of Oregon. And they sent, he said it's between 20 and $30,000 worth of plants. <laughs> It's incredible. Look at this gunnera. It, what, say it again? It's called gunnera, and it's just this giant dinosaur plant. And I mean, the underneath, oh, I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. And That's just for a scale of reference, this is a new, a new leaf coming out. This is a baby. <laughs> Just a tiny this little baby. This is a dinosaur plant. This uh -huh. is what you would see uh -huh. in Super when the dinosaur is And Claire's so funny. They have been diving into all of like the green waste that they get at Pacific Topsoil uh -huh. and pulling out all these gnarled stumps because she's super into the the idea of like a stumpery and she and yeah. you're gonna notice also this is the other cool thing. So we use a lot of bulbs mm -hmm. and Claire was like. That's not me. I am foliage. I am contrast. I am texture. Yeah. And so she just did it. I love it. Isn't that amazing? I love it. Yeah. It's, I mean, you can tell. You can see the foliage. You can see the different colors of green yeah. here. It's beautiful. It's really cool. And what they did, she did also, is she has more of an outdoor side of her garden, mm -hmm. and she also has a shape, or an indoor side of her garden. <gasps> so if you look above, you can kind of see this beautiful sculpture of kind of this outline of a house yes. across the top. And she made this beforehand, brought it in in panels and then installed it. Oh and then as you kind of go down here on the left, it's just layer upon layer upon layer, detail upon detail. Yes. And that- Even this bench, look at this Okay, this is, this is a reclaimed piece. What? Yes. How? And also, do you know what this is? Huh? It's made from no. a gutter leaf. No. I think she found it at a garage sale. No. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh my goodness. Yeah. So Some, super cool. Somebody needs to produce that and sell it. Because it's absolutely incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. It's and she just cool. has it kind of, um, I think it's just on stumps below it. Or is it actually? Oh my god. Yeah, gosh. it looks like stumps. Gets feet. Yeah. Are those concrete? Or are they... <laughs> they feel like concrete. Oh my gosh. I know. It's incredible. Somebody needs to make this. Whoever does concrete art. Make it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Well, and then we come to mushroom land. And I need to figure out who she partnered with on these, but they actually grew the mushrooms. She was switching them out last night because the humidity in here, the moisture just gets sucked out of the air yeah. in here. Yeah. So in any event, the, these mushrooms, really, they last maybe two, three days at the most. Mm. And then you got to switch and them out. And then you got to switch yeah. them out. Yeah. So that's kind of the hard thing about displaying is you got to keep kind of changing yep, something. Absolutely. You've got to do a lot of misting, a lot of spraying, um, you know, to get that moisture back into the leaves because this convention center will just take it out. And what's fun is we've come through the outdoor area and now we come indoors. So truly a plant filled life. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my goodness. And just, we have Stunning couch, beautiful plants, all these um, pieces of bark holding all of the plants to the structure. It's really incredible. Okay, so this garden is a stunner. This was a compilation of a bunch of different professionals. We've got Wilkie, we've got the grounds professionals, and Hartley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, mm -hmm. hello. This, this hello. one has definitely been quite busy. It has been really, <laughs> really busy. It's been really busy. And what they've done is I've loved, again, they've angled. So it feels like, it feels more welcoming. You yeah. come in on this huge, gracious corner. They've used a lot of reclaimed pieces. And you know, the, the hardscape industry is shifting a lot this year. So, mm -hmm. you know, it used to be like just mutual materials and Abbotsford, but now we have cast on coming in. What um, is cast on? They were the ones who did, uh, they create these giant dimensional blocks. Oh. So it's kind of an answer for someone who's maybe in a space that they need something more modular, mm. you know? It's yeah. a little bit easier to build with, but they want that natural look. Yep. Oh my goodness, I love these chains right here. I know, isn't this stunning? So just, and for me, rust in the garden, I love it because Huge. it helps it feel aged. It helps Huge. it feels just, I, I don't know, there's just like some yummy texture that happens. I agree, I'm putting so much rust in my garden right now. Okay. I love it. I love it. And if you compare it with grasses, here's the other thing. If you get that sculpture, that hardness, that rusted metal, and then you pair it with like a fresh grass. So say you have a shade garden and you have like some metal sculpture and then all at the base you plant it with like Japanese forest grass, yes. Hakanakloa. Yes. And all of a sudden you have this fresh, bright green, all of this movement, this rusted, gnarly oh thing God. coming up from it. Done. 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 Love That's it. your magic. Come to That's my house, That's your magic. Please. Yeah. Come I to love. my house. <laughs> road trip. Road trip. So, okay. We've just been given the green light to go in here. Um, in the Hartley, there was a very surprising, fun guest that I, I didn't realize. You know, you're so focused on your own garden. You hear a little bit of what's going on, and I didn't really realize this until the last minute. So come with me. Okay, I've never been in a Hartley before, so I'm kind of excited. Okay. <laughs> do we touch it? Do we, do touch, we touch it? it? Yeah. Do we touch the sides? Do we touch the sides? Okay, so first and foremost, before we even get in here, this is not a true jet black, which I also really love. Yes. There's a softness to it that's really, really sweet. Yes, it's gorgeous. The other thing is there's been a lot of like, kind of like sea hints, and then you come in and then you see the magic. So draped from the ceiling, we have all these amazing balls. We have these incredible jellyfish structures. What I also like is they brought up these shades so you can really see how the Hartley is going to, to function. Look. Yes, have a oh beautiful seating area, gosh. incredible surround. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. I know, so it's really, really stunning and I love just all of these different materials. And then behind me, they brought in a special guest. What is that? It's a jellyfish tank. Oh my goodness. And they were telling me they actually overnighted these <gasps> oh from Florida. They're jellyfish. They're literal jellyfish. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. And then as we exit the Hartley, it empties out onto this beautiful dining patio. And what I love that they did is they've tucked kind of like a little bar cart back here with this oh green. So you get goodness. this like amazing 
barbecue moment, which is great. And then look at this fireplace. This is what is also crazy. Instead of having like a traditional bowl, yeah. you get to like sit on a rock. First of all, it's a sculpture. Exactly. It's, oh, I love that. Thing. I know, look at that. <laughs> and ad. so you can kind of see like just how much more natural this it's looks. beautiful. Yeah. It's and I also think it's really playful. And this garden for sure, they have this beautiful stately classic, Hartley, which I think everyone thinks of a Hartley and it's like Hartley, right? Right, yeah. But then they've paired it with all these kind of like goofy little playful things. Fun like things. we have rock seating. We have jellyfish inside. We've yeah. got rusted metal in the garden. And I think it's kind of a fun way to like dress down the formality of a space, yep, yet you still have yes partly with it's capital h it's, a, it's almost like they're not taking themselves too seriously yeah yeah which i think is so fun yeah and i, I think it's a great encouragement for all of us just to take life a little bit less seriously Absolutely. and and have a good time and gardening is supposed to be fun yeah it is yeah. supposed to be fun kate thank you so much this is such a treat this treat is and enjoy. i am so excited to post this video yeah. i literally can't wait because i know everybody's gonna love it so much so i'm gonna say again thank hello you. garden you are getting your YouTube channel up and running, and I'm yeah. so excited about it, and I just want you to talk all day on it because I'm going to sit Thank there and you. I'm going to listen. Thank because you. Because it's you just have, you're just one of those people that are so passionate about it. I just want to follow you around all day. Thank so you. thank you so much for yelling at me pleasure. when I was walking by. <laughs> thank you so much for getting me <laughs> in you. early. And thank you so much for yeah. spending the time and doing this video. Totally my pleasure. Right. Well worth all the yelling and creepy. Yes. Sand girl. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today.